Hey y'all, what's up? Um, first of all, I know what you're thinking. Why in the world is she wearing a hoodie? She lives in Alabama. Yeah, it's nowhere near cold enough to be wearing this super comfy hoodie. But I want it to be cold enough. Just cold enough. Not like freezing temperatures. But just cold enough so I can wear a hoodie. Because they're so comfy. They're so, so comfy. Um, so I just woke up. Well, actually, I've probably been awake for about an hour. Why am I awake so early on a Saturday morning? Well, basically because the cats decided at 7 o'clock it was playtime. So, I've got two cats who are now asleep, by the way. Now that I'm wide awake, they're asleep in there. So, I've got two cats, indoor cats. Um, and they just were loud and obnoxious this morning. So, I got up and now I'm up. But, I figured it's a good time to tell you something that's been on my heart. I haven't talked much about religion or spirituality or anything like that um, thus far, but I do want to take a minute just to let y'all know that I can't tell my story without telling y'all about Jesus. It, it's going to happen. There's, there's just absolutely no way um, from the different ways that he is intertwined into my life. From the time of being a little girl and getting baptized at my daddy's church that he grew up in. Um, the church that my grandma went to until she died. I, up until the moment that I was lying on the floor in the laundry room after um, my last suicide attempt. Just begging God to please accept me into heaven despite the fact that I was committing suicide. Um... And that was, that was one of the hardest things that I've ever done. It wasn't the act of attempting suicide. It was me just begging God to let me in. You know, to still love me even though I was doing something that he may not have wanted me to do. Well, then he saved me. He didn't let me die. And now he gives me hope and he gives me peace. And if you're not a Christian, you, you don't understand that. And, and you may scoff and you may think, well, you know, he's not there. And, and I'm not here to debate what you believe versus what I believe. Because, well, let me backtrack. Okay, so I'm not here to debate what you believe versus what I believe. I don't want to do that because that starts arguments and that starts hate and that starts anger and that starts frustration. And that's, that's not what this page is about. This page is about love. This page is about not being miserable. This page is about getting help with your anxiety and depression. Now my anxiety and depression never, well, I say never, but there were times, but mostly I never felt unloved in my life. I have always had tons of people in my life who love me. And my biggest hang up with my anxiety and depression was I felt like I was letting everyone down. Everyone loved me so much that I couldn't give them what I felt they deserved. So... That being said, there are some of you out there who struggle with feeling loved. You don't have anybody around you to tell you that you love. You don't have a strong family. You've been abused. You've been on drugs. You've you've self-medicated it, and you don't understand. You don't understand how to stop. Well, I, I, I can't tell you how to stop. I, that's, that's not what I'm here for. What I can do is I can tell you to reach out. And if you feel that nobody on this earth loves you, nobody loves you there's somebody in heaven who does his name's Jesus and his father's name is God and they both love you more than you could ever imagine and they don't want you to feel this way and they don't want you to hurt and just reach out to them if there's nobody else in your life reach out to God he's always there always always there um there's never you know, that there, there's just no reason. Okay, now I'm getting into, I don't want to be judgy and sound critical. But, please, if you're hurting and you have no one else, 
just call on God and see what happens because he does love you. He loves you more than you could ever imagine. Thanks for watching my video. Stay happy, y'all.